Tips. Let's get right over to meteorologist Joe Fury and Sam Cantro, who are the new duo on the Weather Beat. Here, here, we, here are. we are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sammy. Have you thought or no? I thought, no, I tell you, Sam and I were just outside a little while ago. And I, I, Sam, I mean, I know I was being a little dramatic, but the wind into you yeah. and on your face, I mean, I started to feel what frostbite is really about. I mean, you can see how fast that could happen if you were outside with exposed skin for too long. A hundred percent. I mean, we went out around the corner now right on one side of the building yep. it's not super windy you go around the corner you walk down the street yeah, right and in. it hits you hard and the problem too is when you're going to try and move that snow it's right. just going to blow right back over yeah. there again so yeah. whatever lane you want to carve out if you're going to do it on the sidewalk right. double or triple that because it's going to exactly. blow right back yeah 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 a little frustrating today some of you've been out with the uh with the snow blower and you're <laughs> You know, it goes mm -hmm. up in the air and it comes right back behind you. I heard a couple guys, yeah. or I saw a couple guys that were out in New Haven, some of the some of the city workers that were yeah. out there, and yeah. their arms were up in the air because of how frustrated <laughs> exactly. they were. And I saw them mouthing some things out that we probably shouldn't say on yeah, TV. We'll right? just say that. Yeah. I mean, Sam, uh, it, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a monster nor'easter. Uh, it's one that uh, is giving different situations across our very small state. And, of course, the blizzard warning that is in effect for New London County. Yeah, that's spot on. Uh, because I was just talking to one of our photographers, George, and he just said that the differential between what's happening here in eastern and southeastern Connecticut and what's happening as you move to 91 on west is, is totally different. It really is a full-fledged blizzard. It really is a dangerous situation for travel. It's dangerous to be outside because, as Sam and I were just talking about, it is so so bitterly, bitterly cold. So, as uh, far as the storm goes, yeah, as, as we talked about yesterday, it would look like a hurricane out here in the Atlantic, and sure enough, uh, there it is, trying to form a little eye out here. Lightning strikes all over the place, and you can see the expanse of moisture that's working its way all the way from southeastern Connecticut, and I'm talking about the heavy snow. Southeastern Connecticut, Rhode Island, Eastern Massachusetts, on up through Eastern Coastal Maine, right on up over into Nova Scotia. Yeah, uh, this is a textbook. This is going to go down uh, in history, most certainly, uh, especially for folks out to the east. Not so much for a lot of you here in Connecticut, but yeah, you get out through Eastern Massachusetts, you can see Boston, on down to near Providence, and on down to Narragansett Bay here. Yeah, this is where you get the three inch plus per hour snowfall rates, and this is where it's really piling up. Move on over here, and yeah, you guys uh, here, right? And Gil was just talking about this a little while ago. Little enhancement showing, and, and one of our computer models actually picked up on this for this afternoon. Route 8 corridor, all of a sudden, you've seen uh, the uh, snow increase a little bit in intensity. All right, New London County, yeah, you guys are just pouring snow down here, especially as you head uh, anywhere uh, near uh, McGonk Point. In Harkness State Park, and on across uh, through uh, Mystic Stonington, up into Voluntown, North Stonington. Yeah, it's really, really crazy out there right now. And another pretty good band of snow that's coming uh, right here as you move down Route 9 and right on in uh, towards uh, Clinton down 79 and 77 and through uh, Madison and Guilford. Uh, so we see here that at the Quinnipiac campus, Mount Carmel and Hamden, the visibility is pretty good. See how you can see uh, the uh, mountain there uh, in the background? Uh, the, uh, yeah, the difference between that and here is remarkable. This is a full-fledged blizzard going on. Notice, no snow in the parking lot. That's not because it was cleared by a plow. Mother Nature just cleared it right off because the wind is blowing so hard. Sam's gonna show you that in a minute. All right, get on to Long Wharf. Uh, 95, flowing pretty good. The temperature in Hartford's down to 16 degrees. This is the situation we're talking about now as we go on through into this afternoon. The amounts of snow, most in eastern areas, less as you head 91 on, on to, the, to the west. It's a pretty big difference, although a little bit heavier right now in the Naugatuck Valley. Uh, so uh, the idea for us as we uh, work our way along here is going to be the storm starting to go away as we work into this evening but there's something that's not going to go away and it's going to be the wind and it's going to be a plunging temperature and we're talking about some of the lowest wind chills that we get right sam so here's sam cantrell to show you where the wind is 
what it's doing now and how low that sure. wind chill is going to go. Well, it's pretty amazing that you showed that view out there. And what a difference it is in places like New London and even around New Haven, too, where the, un, uh, uh, the areas that are not being blocked by the wind are just gusting unbelievable. 40 mile an hour wind gust most recently in New London, 25, 30 or so across the rest of the state. So this is a blizzard uh, for New London County. Let's take a look at these weather graphics full screen right here for you and show you what the wind chills are doing. These are the current wind chill values. Negative 13 for your wind chill value in Torrington. It feels like negative 6 in Waterbury, negative 7 in Bridgeport. The wind chill value in New London is negative 3 degrees. When you go out to clear that snow, if you're not wearing your hat, your boots, your gloves, uh, and covering up every exposed inch of skin, you are absolutely going to get frostbitten. And it's just going to get worse overnight tonight. Wind chill values between 0 and negative 20 for tomorrow morning. Look at that, negative 27 for a wind chill value in Hartford. That is unbelievable. Temperatures today, well, they're falling off. We're done, we're done with that. I don't, know, I don't know why it shows. Oh, that's tomorrow's forecast day. Sorry, I'm just coming in for the first time in the studio. 20s for tomorrow afternoon. There is a breeze. There is some wind out there as well. And going beyond that in the eight-day forecast, temperatures will start to moderate. But for those of you who are going to try and clear the snow out this evening, it is going to be brutally cold. And for those who head out early tomorrow morning, same sort of game. It is going to be equally as cold. Hey, in the next uh, weather hit, we will update that eight-day forecast, talk about the uh, eight-day starting tomorrow, since now we're getting closer towards our evening newscasts. And, uh, and we'll keep you updated on those conditions out there on the roads as well.